Brendan's got a new joke. I, I haven't I haven't heard it yet. I guess I kind of got the premise. I think it's to do with Bud Light or something, but I haven't heard it in full. So let's view what Brian Callan's, sorry, what Brendan Schaub's new comedy bit is. It's funny he's doing this stuff because I'm still going to go with the narrative and with the idea that I think that Brendan has been told categorically that the reason why he can't perform at the comedy mothership is because Joe doesn't think he's funny enough. That's my theory. I just think Joe told him at one point, hey, you're not funny enough. The 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 current kind of um, narrative or kind of theory out there um, floated by a few people. I think some people who are maybe associated with the comedy mothership out there in Austin have posted on the Joe Rogan subreddit and a few other places. They've said, basically said that word on the road is that Rogan told Brendan that Adam Eager is the guy to speak to. He's the main booker guy and they're just too booked. They've got too many people at the moment and he kind of just like, you know, palmed him off to Adam Eager and said, look, I can't help you right now. Talk to Adam Eager. And of course, Adam Eager has no loyalties to Brendan that doesn't know him the way Joe does. So he's able to kind of say no easier. But my theory is that Brendan told him, hey, you're not funny now. You're not at the level we need to come perform at this club. And he doesn't basically think he's funny enough. And I think the reason why is I buy into this story that allegedly no, oh, I think no BGL said it it's not my story BGL said it I think he told people on the live stream Rogan told Brendan to stop putting out the flipping clips of his um comedy like stop putting out these little clips because they're not doing any favors the bits aren't good enough you know tighten up the bits first before you release the clips and Brendan took that as some sort of way to he took that as an offense for some reason and he's not listening and he decided to keep doing it anyway. So that's the reason why also Rogan doesn't want to have him on the at the comedy mothership because, you know, he's seen his material online and doesn't like it. Anyway, Brendan's got a new bit um, here. features on his Twitter. It's also on his Instagram. We're going to check it out here in real time together and see what lovely comedy he has for us. The caption says, Bud Light is crazy, huh? With a question mark. So let's hear this Bud Light joke. This epic Bud Light bit that's going to get everybody running to go buy tickets to his uk tour island tour and to also buy tickets to the comedy store um, performance at la jolla let's see what rogan has uh, let's see what brendan has to say and let's see if this is worthy enough to get him to perform at the comedy mothership hey, you know, about your homeless we're the american idol for homeless we have the best of the best <laughs> you're homeless you know what your homeless is though your homeless is fucking aggressive dude your homeless is super aggressive me and my brother are getting around town on scooters we we'll go by one homeless guy goes nice jeans <laughs> Like, sir, you don't have shoes. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, though, I was drinking a Bud Light. I was drinking a Bud Light. I was drinking a Bud Light. Yeah. I was drinking a Bud Light. Yeah. That's right. Throw them off. The Bud Light to do it, man. It's, it, within the jeans is the Bud Light. <laughs> How about Bud Light? God, they messed up, huh? Boy, they just didn't read the room, did they? They just, they don't know their audience. The head of marketing was like, yeah, we're just trying to get rid of that bro culture. It's not what we want to represent. Like, do you do not know who drinks Bud Light? <laughs> I don't see the problem with Bud Light, dude. I love Bud Light. Like, dude, people are so homophobic. Like, oh, you drink Bud Light, turn gay? Dude, get it out of here. <laughs> I'm willing to bet. I'm willing to bet he didn't come up with that premise. If you're listening to the joke, I have a feeling he stole this from somebody. This doesn't feel like something that came from Brendan's brain, that he was able to craft. Maybe the the kind of, you know, the whole old Bud Light thing as a, as a joke bit because he's trying to be somewhat right wing, somewhat you know somewhat in that kind of state he's not smart enough or doesn't have the acumen to kind of put that together he isn't brave enough to really stand on it he just throws out little comments here and there but i don't think he was clever he's clever enough to put this whole entire bit together he might have put the first bit together but this whole like you know sucking on the bud light like it's a dick and letting it kind of foam up and shit this feels like something that was stolen from somebody it just feels like it <laughs> That 
Who's ready for physical comedy, Brendan Schaub in 2023 and beyond? Physicality. Physi- physicality. Schaub. <laughs> physicality Schaub. First of all, storytelling and shit. Now it's physicality Schaub in 2023 and beyond. That was legitimately horrendous. The other thing I noticed as well, again, I don't know nothing about stand-up. I have never done it myself. So maybe I'm talking on my ass. This is maybe edited. Have you noticed how he rushes through his bits? Like, he rushes. He, he doesn't enunciate properly. And again, I don't pronounce my words properly sometimes, but he doesn't take his time to say the words, to let the words breathe, to give lines some space before starting again. It's all, it's all like really rushed. It kind of feels like, have you ever given a speech or a talk at work sometimes? Maybe to give a presentation. And then you run it through your head, it's pretty easy. And when you get on stage or when you have to speak in front of you, you stand up, your mouth kind of tightens up. It feels really small and you start to get really, you know, shortness of breath. You feel a little bit anxious and you start to rush through your words. You can calm down after a while, but you're rushing through the first half. And maybe you have that... <gasps> That, that squeaky burp voice thing going on like it feels really crazy that's how it feels like when he's doing stand-up it feels it feels like that and it also it just sounds very <laughs> super jello he's got that adderall cadence um it kind of sounds very open mic level that's the thing that's funny about this he cut corners but the corners came back and hit him over the back of the head you can't run away from it he just sounds very and again this isn't his fault sometimes it's just your level but he would have really benefited from really going the conventional route in comedy. Like he needed to go down the real, you know, how people in fashion, you have to go through an internship. Some people have to go through that. Or some people can be like, you know, Alexander McQueen and just be a, a genius from like university and have, you know, um, editors and socialites buying your entire graduate collection. Like Alexander McQueen did when he came out of uni straight away. But some people need to go through uni. They need to do a master's in fashion. They need to go and intern. They need to work on their brand and then they launch their brand. And I think Brendan is the same. He needed to go through the entire comedy schooling or the system. And then maybe he's still not, not a guarantee, but he would have had a chance to be funny. But the fact that he skipped that step and just performed in front of his a home crowd, the fighting a kid audience for the majority of his career kind of fucked him up, man, because this sounds like an open micer, even maybe even probably worse than open micer. Like, it's just terrible. Like, like, like that guy from yesterday, or oh, sorry, yesterday, that guy from the last stream, um, the guy that was, that I, I labeled as a uh, Brendan Shaw's brother, the one that was on Kill Tony. I know that raw Ted or that retard joke, re-Ted joke was a bit corny and a little bit lame, but he had a little bit more potential than Brendan did this thing. He seemed like he was clearly high or really nervous and anxious, but that other guy who looked like Brendan, he sounded way funnier. I think so. He sounded way, way funnier. And he wasn't that great either. So, damn, son. This is terrible. But he's loving it, I guess. Let's see the comments, actually. Let's see what the fans have to say. The Rinks, are you going to London show? Of course I am. Of course I'm going. I'm going to the London show and I'm going to report back. You're going to hear me talk about it on the live stream. I'm going to report back. I might go there in a disguise, though, just in case um, Jay comes after me, isn't it? Shark eyes, Dolph smile, whatever he's called. I have to go in a in 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 disguise. I have to wear. Um, I have to put on the Eric Griffin mask, isn't it? What's the Eric Griffin mask? Did you know the Eric Griffin mask? Um, was it um, glasses with nose and mustache? I have to I have to put on this Eric Griffin disguise when I go there. That's what I have to do. <laughs> put on the Eric Griffin, the Eric Griffin disguise, and then no one, no one will notice me, right? Put on the Eric Griffin disguise, and no one will notice me. And put on one of those hats as well. He was wearing one of those fat man hats. Right, where fat man hat Eric Eric Griffin disguise and no one will notice me when I go to the Brendan Shaw show. <laughs> like who's that guy? <laughs> Actually, let me get a screenshot of him gagging the thing so I can use it for a clip when I eventually clip this up because this was absolutely horrendous. I had to put myself through this absolutely horrendous nonsense. Let's actually get a clip of him gagging the flipping bottle. Like, what is this? This is this is comedy, right? This is this is the height of comedy. This shit is. Look at this shit. What the fuck is this, man? This is what he spent all his time writing. Right? This shit. Look at that. <laughs> this is comedy. 
<laughs> there's only 1,000 of them, right? Thank them, as Joe Rogan said. There's only 1,000 of these guys. Only 1,000 true comics. Thank them. Thank them, thank them, thank them. Look at that. Fuck me, mate. Anyway, uh, let's see the comments from the fans. What do the fans say about that About that um, deep throat in Bud Light? Stolen joke. FIFA Sutherland strikes again. Oh, FIFA Sutherland. So he did steal a joke. Okay, I didn't read the comments before. So I had the feeling that joke was stolen. I think the first part he probably did himself, but the second part, I think that comes from somewhere else. You stole that bit from Nathan Lasher. Who, who the fuck is Nathan Lasher? Who the hell is Nathan Lasher? Let's see who Nathan Lasher is. Nathan Lasher. Who the hell is that? Is he on Instagram? Who's this? Nathan Lasher. Who are you, sir? Oh, people are saying in the chat even, he stole the joke. He stole it from Brezza. Oh, is this the guy he stole it from? Look, he's got a beer in his hand. Is this Nathan Lasher? Is this him? What's this about to say? So everybody been fucking saying, dude, that Bald Light sponsored a tranny or some shit, dude. And uh, apparently it makes you gay. I'm like, the fuck, man? Been drinking Bud Light for fucking years, man. And I don't see how it makes you gay. <laughs> you see? <laughs> That's actually funnier. Even though the joke, the setup isn't what it is, but the end of it, the punchline of him actually gagging on it and spitting a bit, is actually funnier. That's actually funnier than Brendan's joke. And it's like 10 seconds, 30 seconds, if that. Fucking hell, Brendan, man. This joke isn't even that. This joke isn't like, it's good, but it's not like steel, it's not like steel worthy, you know? You should be able to think of this yourself or the premise of it slightly. Do you, do you know what I mean? Am I making sense? Like if, if, it, was, if it was me and I was stealing a joke, right? which I obviously wouldn't, but if I was, it'd be something like worthwhile to steal, something that you generally couldn't come up with. But if you could come up with it within your wheelhouse, you should, you, should be, you should feel ashamed stealing it because if you didn't think of it yourself, you have to kind of give his head a wobble. Like you should be a little bit disappointed to think of it yourself or the general premise of it. And again, he did it, he did it terribly anyway. That setup was so long, so dragged out, and the guy went the extra mile by actually gagging on it himself a little bit. But Brendan couldn't do that. He couldn't embarrass himself that much. Wow, he stole it. That is crazy. So big up Nathan Fisher. Check him out as well. Um, subscribe to him. He's on Instagram. That's his name there. Big up Nathan Fisher. What? Let's actually see. His, let's actually see his thank you post. Actually, what did he say? In his thank you post. Oh man. Well, hey, just wanted to thank you guys for uh, two hundred thousand likes and almost seven million views. Shit's fucking nuts, and uh, never thought that shit would happen. But uh, thank you guys a lot, and I'm gonna try to keep making funny content for you guys and keep it rolling. Comment down below stuff you'd like to see, and I'm not gonna try to milk these trends because you know that that shit's fucking stupid. And <laughs> yeah, we'll make some original stuff and keep it rolling. Thank you guys. Now he see, he seems nice. He's getting a like for me. He seems he seems lovely. Jesus Christ, Brendan, man, what is wrong with you, brother? So yeah, that's incredibly uncool. The likes as well. England is part of the UK sunshine. <laughs> exactly. This is brilliant. Some person says this is actually good for stand up comedy live. I've seen way worse. At least it flows. Honestly, the bar, the bar for Brendan is so low. This is actually good for stand up comedy live. I've seen way worse. <laughs> that's the biggest backhanded compliment you could ever get from somebody i've seen worse at least it flows <laughs> why not joe why won't joe invite you to the mothership <laughs> wow brendan you're just so funny you funny little guy you that bud light bit was solid will red band carlos mencia you for stealing the jokes great bit better find a new sponsor bro not the spaceship you remind me of Eric Stone Street in Modern Family. Who's Eric Stone Street in Modern Family? I don't know. I don't watch Modern Family. Um, clearly, because I'm not white. <laughs> uh, when you coming home to Denver, another one, you stole Bud Light from a TikToker. There's no way you didn't see that. Oh, it's a TikTok joke. Nathan Fisher's on TikTok. No way. No way. Nathan Lesher. Nathan Lasher 
TikTok. Oh my! How many views has he got on there? Because he's got half a million on there. Let's see if he's on here. Oh, Brendan, what's wrong with you, man? Yeah, there he is. Look, he's there. He's there. Look how many tags he's got on it. He's all over there, right? Look there. Um, it's okay. That was funny. UK, Dublin, then England. Uh, it could be the same. You came a long way from Showtime. Don't come to Wales. Be great country. Never come here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, don't come to Wales as well. Wales, <laughs> spelt like the <laughs> spelt like the the sea beast, right? Or the land beast, sea beast. Don't come to Wales. Be great country. Never been here. Uh, hell yeah, brother! Stealing jokes is on brand for you. Can't wait till you get sued. Be TikTokers aren't comedians and TikToks aren't stand up. I think it's free game if you make it funny on stage. What? So this person's encouraging Brendan to steal jokes because it's from a TikToker. It, in my opinion, it's actually more embarrassing if you're a stand-up comedian and you can't come up with a joke yourself and you have to steal it from a TikToker. That's actually more embarrassing. Maybe I'm, you know, talking out my ass there, but I actually think that actually says more about you than them. Joe Rogan, are you going to call your boy out for stealing jokes? Yo, that red table was made specifically for Gallagher and the black box on the stage was from the original stage where the greats performed. Dope show, man. Come back to LTATL. To prove I'm not just being some hater, B, I wanted to let you know since I know you are really serious about any copyright infringement issues. All right, he tagged the Instagram of Nathan Lasher. Brendan, Men Brendan Mencia. Oh, my days. Brendan Mencia. Wow. FIFA Sutherland strikes again. I like how they call him FIFA Sutherland. That's amazing. It was all bad, but if I had to give a compliment, that final visual gag was hacky, but still the funniest thing I've seen you do. But the funny thing is, he stole it. He stole the funniest thing about the show, about the joke. The funniest thing he stole. God almighty, Brendan, man. The joke isn't even that good. You couldn't come up with that yourself. Awesome, looking forward to seeing you live. You look so uncomfortable and stiff. You make me feel uncomfortable just watching you. That's a stolen joke. Was on TikTok and the guy called you out on Instagram. Oh, did he? I got his Instagram actually here. Did you call him out on Instagram? Let's see here. Did you call him out? This is a joke. Let's see if you called him out. Nathan Lasher said something. Or did he delete the comment? Da, da, da. No, I don't see that. Oh, there he is there, Nathan. Yeah. Pretty fucking bud light of you to steal my joke, dog. 818 likes. He's no way he can't have said, he can't, no way he couldn't have seen that. No way he couldn't have seen that. It's the most liked comment on there, isn't it? Wow. It's, has it got more likes than the post? No, it's got, okay, the post has got 5,975. Nathan Lash is there, bro. Ho, ho, ho. This is so bad. The joke isn't even that good. 50 replies. Oh, come on, Brendan. You got to do better, man. You got to do better. What are we doing here? Water, weed, dune, hair. Come on, brother. This is so horrible. <sighs> Just when you think he's actually writing and doing something, it then turns out he's not. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy, man. This guy's beyond help, really, to be honest. He's beyond help. Knowing all the attention that's on him, knowing all the people that kind of microanalyze and stalk him all over the internet, a whole subreddit dedicated to flipping shit on him every day, you'd think he'd be a little bit more careful, innit? And be a little bit more, you know, I don't know, just have a little bit more flipping discretion in his stealing or whatever it may be. But nah, nah, he just goes. He just goes. Fucking hell, mate. Fucking hell, Brendan. Anyway, whatever.